Okay, guys, so uh, we actually drove, drove, we're gonna have a little barbecue. We drove back here into the woods quite a ways, uh, I don't know, 15 miles or so. And I mean, it's 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 desolate out here. We're the only ones out here uh, at all right now. So I got our friend is here, she's got her dogs driving me crazy, anyways. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Kelsey, but uh, anyways, uh my pups here you might hide hair in the background barking but uh i just wanted to before i ventured out i wanted to show you guys this look at the top of that tree has been busted off from over there that tree came from over there i want all the negative closed-minded people tell me how the hell that happened this is typical sasquatch activity right here it climbed this tree and he, they, it's freshly snapped off too. It, it was it's sometime over the winter, maybe or something. But it got snapped off, and then it's set down on that tree over there. That's like at least 15 foot apart, 20 foot apart. There ain't no way in hell a human done that. There ain't no way in hell the wind blew, snapped that off, carried that big piece of log, and stuffed it in that tree like that. And it's been kind of woven in. There's a branch on the other side. It's kind of woven in on that. That just doesn't happen. That is very juicy. Juicy. Typical Sasquatch activity right here. Oh yeah. Again, uh, there's another break right here. Been snapped off. I mean, Sasquatch, he's traveling that way. They come up and they pull this down. Again, there's no, there's no damage to the bark on this. Very, very, look at that. I, I'm, I'm cutting that with my nail easy there's no damage on this on these trees at all and they're all busted like this this is typical sasquatch activity okay we're walking back in here you can see there's a break right there all kinds of breaks right here all kinds look at this no damage to the bark in any shape or form they're in and out of here these sasquatch are in and out of here because of this water source down here look at this this one's been busted and pulled back that way just more there's tons of breaks right here big old break Let's... yeah here's another here's another good one that he just mentioned there's a there's a boxed in area right here sasquatch will do this kind of thing it looks like these trees were placed here and there's like a box and I've seen this out in the woods and it's like they sit inside that box it's so crazy that's just the stuff that they do yeah it's just the stuff that they do and all they like to take these little sap saplings and break them like this it's not done by an elk it's not done by a moose if it was these trees would be they'd be damaged there's an old break right there that's got like some damage on it. That might have been pushed over by something else. But uh, there's a break. That one's twisted and bring back this way. Yeah, that that right there is caused by moose. The moose, the the moose will. Uh, no, these are these are moose. The moose will come in here and eat the bark off of this. Oh, okay. That's exactly what it, that they do. That's exactly what it looks like. They love the bark on this, right. on these little aspens. See, the moose will come in here. Elk too. Let's eat those. Look at this crazy break. No damage at all. There's another one back there. Huge amount of breaks in here. There's another one right there. And keep in mind, there's there's no damage to the uh, to the to the bark if it was done by antlers or anything that'd be it'd be really damaged on the bark but it's not there you go right there another break look here's the big the bigger pond a little like a little lake and look there's some more breaks right here and uh, I'm trying, I, you know, I try to tell people, you know, through experience that those brakes, when they point this way, the Sasquatch are actually moving this way, which makes sense. He's going on this outer edge of this march. And I try to, uh, I try to tell people, look, there's some brakes right here too. 
and each way the brakes are pointing and what I said earlier Sasquatch can't help but when they come through areas they've got to constantly be breaking shit doing this kind of thing this is constantly breaking shit they leave a mark of where they actually went into and uh, they just can't help but just break stuff you know what I mean I can't see in my monitor that's a sucky thing about this I could see down there zoom in down there but I can't see into the monitor very well to see if there's anything down there but it's typical uh, typical of them when they travel wherever they're traveling they're constantly breaking things and this is a water source so you're gonna see a lot of breaks they're in and out in and out in and out messing around with uh, getting drinks I don't know if there's any fish in here or not I mean it's possible I guess like that how'd that end up like that that was laying on the ground that's a very old stick that's sitting up in there maybe the saplings grew up into it like that I don't know that's just little, little things like that the Sasquatch will leave behind that's how come you know I track them so well I could track them up into locations and this is also like a little ravine. Sasquatch like little ravines. Hey, you got your water. Perfect. There's a break way up on the way up on the uh, on the tree there. That sucker's high. That's that's eight feet high or more. Nice little break right there. You can't tell me an elk did that one or a moose. They didn't anyway. I just know better. But we're gonna kind of look around the edge of this lake see if there's some tracks they, they should be moving in because that's pretty that's pretty nice weather today it's in the 50s so that's pretty nice today well, we're gonna there's more saplings up here and there's already a break on the sapling more breaks another break this, this is this is typical Sasquatch activity when they travel. Another break, about the same height as I am, right next to this lake. It's just uh, it looks like there's another meadow right back there. That'd be a good spot to go up and look at. We're gonna make our way around this lake. It's real thick back there. I'm not seeing any footprints yet, although it's really difficult to make out a footprint in this stuff. Yeah, I told you, there, there, there's going to be a lot of breaks today. I was out here scouting around a little bit yesterday. I didn't go, go too deep. I was just kind of scouting it out. and uh, Kind of looking around here a little bit. My brother-in-law back there, hacking along. <laughs> I sure hope there ain't no ticks out here. Some spots have ticks, some don't. You can see the bottom, there's a bunch of seaweed and stuff down there. Boy, that's really thick back in there. See a lot of elk, deer, moose prints, but it's really hard to leave a big flatted footprint, big flat padded footprint. It's very hard to do that. A lot of this around here, and the Sasquatch are big around here. I mean, I'm sure there's some big ones, but they're far and few between, you know what I mean? Look, there's another break right there. There's another break right there. There's another break right over there. Let's see, I can't really see it on my monitor. But we're back here, and uh, I looked in that muddy marsh area. I don't think I see any footprints. A couple of them, possibly. Look at this twist break right here. It's been twisted. And bring down on that side of the tree. Look at these little leaners right here. Coming up into this tree, making a small teepee type structure. That's cool. There's a break right next to it. And there's another break up tall. 
Yeah, that's, I, I told you, man, there's a lot of, there's a lot of breaks right here in this area. Oh, that hurt. That's cool. There's definitely stuff going on, a little manipulation, but they, they did these, those, uh, three leaners right there that just doesn't happen naturally those logs are real old they've been put up into that like that it's crazy oh look right behind me there's another one coming up into it right there and that, and that didn't even come from there look that didn't even come from there guys shoved in the ground a little bit there's another tree possibly a leaner The Look at this bend, guys. This little tree has been bent and shoved underneath that. The top of that tree is back right, is right there. It's crazy. This is really old. This has been laying here for a long time and it's tucked. This is last year's, I think. And it's been tucked up underneath that. That's pretty incredible. Wow. We're back at the back part of that lake. Super thick right back here. And uh, we could be being watched by anything. I just hope that a moose doesn't uh, come flying out at us. That would suck. <laughs> it looks like there's a little area right over here. It's like it's bedded down. There's another break right there. There's a lot of breaks in, in, in here with these little saplings, these little... Uh, Aspen saplings. They come in here and snap those. As they travel through, break, break, break. They constantly break stuff. There's a trail. Maybe some kind of game trail. And they follow game trails. Okay, we're about to walk up this little ridge. But there's breaks. There's breaks all over these, these little saplings. This is what Sasquatch do when they travel. And it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a directional means of uh, where they may be traveling. And it's real thick back there, and there's breaks all going the same direction, going all the way back into this area back here. There's another little break right there. You can't see it because the break is facing this way. Um, but there's a, a lot of breaks, man, and that's, that's typical Sasquatch activity. We're next to water. We're in a ravine. It's good Sasquatch uh, area right now. And they, they show it. And yeah, there's a, there's another little break. There's a break up behind that. Wow. We come up and just up into the meadow area. Uh, again, there's all this, uh, these little saplings here, these little aspen saplings. And there's a break right there. And it's weird because you get up here out of the ravine and up on top and there's not much for breaks. I don't see really any breaks up here not like down below down here which is crazy so many breaks down there a couple of leaners yeah. so if you can see them there they are pairs leaners and pairs up on the tree that's typical what they do very typical. I just heard some kind of high-pitched vocal back that way. We'll walk that way a little bit. Look at this really cool tree. This isn't done by Sasquatch. This is natural, but this is... <laughs> Look at this insanity. Look at this thing is all twisted up. I mean, for shit's sakes, maybe it was done by Sasquatch, but... Natural or Sasquatch, that's sure freaking cool looking. That thing's twisted to shit everywhere. Maybe a big old Sasquatch came and did that. Mm -hmm. But this right here is weird. That's the top of the tree. And it's hanging up there. It didn't come from any of these trees. If it came from this one, the top of that, how did it end up back here hanging on itself? That's just stuff that they do. That's typical Sasquatch activity. That's what they do. But look at this thing, man. This is a crazy tree. Holy hell. 
And this right here, how oh, it's just hanging there, upside down. That's insanity. Boy, we're so far back here right now. Look at that juicy little structure right there. This is typical Sasquatch activity. There ain't nobody coming up here and building this. We are a ways back into the woods. This is typical Sasquatch teepees built right onto a tree. We're walking, we're gonna walk up to that sucker right now. This is amazing. This is crazy. This is the stuff that they do right here. Look at that, guys. That's crazy. Some of these logs in there are real big. Really heavy. That's cool as hell. This is typical. Typical what Sasquatch do. They make these for blinds. There's a lot of deer coming through this location. Look at that. Wow. Real wide at the bottom. Real dirty. It's not real uniform. Wow. That's insane. And people sit there and say, Loggers did that. Boy Scouts did that. Bullshit. There ain't nobody coming back here. It's, 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 you know... There's no people who come back here and do this kind of thing. You see these vertical pieces in there. That's pretty amazing. That is very juicy. <laughs> Look at this. These logs didn't come from here. They've been all stacked in there like a half teepee. Look at this 100, 200 pound root ball. It's not from here. It got drug in. You can't tell me the wind or Boy Scouts did some shit like this. Look, that didn't come from there either. None of these did. They were all dragged up into this area right here. That's typical Sasquatch activity. That'd be maybe some kind of blind. And this is right next to the teepee we just um, filmed, which is incredible. There's a few slash piles back there from 50 years ago. But look at this shit. This is crazy. Wow. That's, that's amazing. That's some strength to pull that tree up into that like that that's crazy crazy wow we're, we're, we're getting some vocals very distant i don't think my mic is going to be able to pick the uh, vocals up actually let me check my battery life and huh yeah i just uh uh we heard a very faint uh vocal uh whoo back that way really high pitch kind of and I did a vocal back it's not recommended you can't get in trouble for doing that uh, you're speaking a language you don't understand and it responded back like you just you're not gonna be able to hear it on the microphone it's, it's pretty faint it's pretty far away it's a ways away that direction Well, whatever. Was that like was that a high pitch? Like it was, wasn't it? I heard that, and that was down over that way, wasn't it? Now we just heard a high pitched vocal right down here. That's where we came from, that area down there. I don't want to sit here and bore you guys, but I could just know it if I shut this camera off. I'm just going to get this really loud vocal, and I'm, I'm loud enough to get it on my mic, and I'm going to miss it. I just don't want to bore you guys, but we're getting some vocals here, guys. This is cool as shit. Okay, guys, we're walking up on these rocks. We were just down there on the bottom. We're getting up here to get a better vantage point and see if we can hear those vocals some more. We actually got done here and more vocals on the other side over here. Look at this. Look at this blind right here. This is freaking crazy. A little opening right here. A little opening on top. Look at that, guys. 
built in right into the side of this. It's all, it looks like a vocal, or not a vocal, but a blind to look down here to the bottom maybe. That's so cool. Then above that, you got a bunch of sticks that are all, they're all stacked up right here. But there's the, uh, there's the blind, another blind. That's typical Sasquatch stuff. It doesn't matter how small it is too. That could be a little spot where a juvie could be hiding, a little baby. You know, people need to get that through their heads. Not all Sasquatch are 800 pounds. It's just not. That's a, that's a nice little spot for a juvie baby to sit in. And a lot of the Sasquatch around here, they're not that big anyway. Which is pretty incredible. But we're getting vocals. We're going to stick around and mosey around here and see what else we can find and see if we can hear some more. <laughs> 